Good morning guys and what's going on? This is Adam Green from Green Auto Services Mobile Tire Care. Today we have a Ford Focus EcoBoost 1 litre with us with a TPMS fault. So a uh, very, very brief history with this one. Uh, I previously, well, last year did four tires of which in one of the wheels we actually found a TPMS set sensor all damaged and bouncing around. So we've actually replaced a sensor already on the passenger front. Um, the system was reset, all the tire pressures checked. Um, a few months later the actual fault came back onto the system. So uh, in this case what we're going to do, we're going to stick diag on it, see what fault code there is, then we're going to go around, check all the sensors, uh, have a look at their battery lifespans and then we are going to reset the system with all the pressures and then and see how it goes. So let's not waste any time, let's go straight to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with this vehicle, we are just going to check all the individual TPMS sensors to make sure that the battery life's okay and they're all reporting all the information to the BMI module as they should do. So with this I'm going to be using the TPMS4 um, that, that you may have seen in a previous video with the Hyundai. Um, this originally I got from Snap-on. Great little kit, but you are going to need it for this job that I'm going to show you to do now. So we are just going to get straight into it. So um, just for good practice, starting at the near side front, so that's the passenger front wheel on any of these vehicles, particularly when it comes to using this system, we are going to select tyre pressure, Ford, focus three is 15. Okay, and here it will give you instructions straight away. So, using uh, this uh, Wi Fi button, we are literally just going to put it up to the valve stem and we're just going to read the sensor by pressing that button starting at the near side front. So, there we go, this is going to start the test. Try and get you zoomed on that, test in progress. It does take a few seconds. Sometimes it takes a little bit for the sensor to wake up, ping a signal. In this case it's taking a little bit longer. You can see the screen flashing there, it's actually trying to send the signal to wake up the sensor to get the information. Now it's saying no sensor detected. Now this is a little bit unusual but not unheard of. We're going to test it again. Sometimes it does take a couple of attempts. To wait this. Okay there we go. And as you can see we have got all the information that the uh, sensor is giving out. It's very more importantly though, the battery is okay. So we are now gonna go over to the offside front wheel. And again, follow the instructions on the tool. It's very important because there is a specific route. Test in progress. Okay, just wait a couple of seconds. There we go. Again, battery okay, got all the information. Moving on to the next one, which is the offside rear, up to the valve, start the test. And you're trying to get that little Wi-Fi bit up to the valve as close as possible, and it should be able to read it. Yeah, it's taken quite a while to read. Shouldn't normally take this long. Uh, but there we go. Maybe we might have another defective sensor, but we'll give it another go. See if we can wake it up again. The lights just changed there. Still saying test in progress. Sorry there, the light keeps changing. No, same, no sense today. We're going to try one more time. Third time is a charm. Sorry for the unsteadiness, trying to hold a camera and do this at the same time. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, so there we go. So, although we do have a reading, the sensor is awake. The battery is saying that it's okay. I'm a little bit concerned it took quite a while to wake up. Maybe this could be the underlying issue of why the original fault is coming up. But again, we're just going to follow the procedure and read the last one. Test button. Test is in progress. There we go. And that one, the battery's reading okay as well and giving us all the correct information. 
Okay, so we have just read all of the tyre pressure sensors uh, on the vehicle using the TPMS4. Now, although a couple of the sensors gave us uh, a little bit of extra time to ping a signal and give us all the information, um, they are all reading absolutely fine. The batteries are all okay. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on that offside rear sensor because it took three attempts just to wake it up and give the information a little bit longer than I expected. So that may be the underlying issue. Now, the whole reason for me doing this is that the car originally came up with a message on the dash after about maybe 15 20 minutes of driving um, which said I believe it was along the lines of tire pressure sensors undetected please check handbook so I put originally the diagnostic on there and uh, it came up with just one fault code in all of the systems which was in the BMI system and the fault code which I haven't saved but I have written down um, is B12 4D-02 and all it says is tyre pressure sensor. So I know for a fact that the near side front tyre has had a new sensor recently um, and the only thing that I've got to go on is that the offside rear tyre uh, pressure sensor was taking quite a long time to wake up give us the information to the TPMS4. So my thinking is it could be a sensor which is slowly on its way out hence why it's an intermittent issue. So now we are going to go to the vehicle just for belts and braces um, and actually get the vehicle to relearn all of the tyre pressure sensors. Not only is it good to tick it off the list to make sure that we have done that but it is also good to show you how this is done because it's quite an interesting process. So let's not waste any more time, let's get to it. Okay, so we are now back in the vehicle. So specifically, what we're gonna do, we are gonna get the car itself to go into what's called a learn mode. Now that we need to manually do this, it's a series of things you need to do using the instrument cluster and the brake pedal. Um, bear with me, it's a little bit complicated, so I'm gonna quickly rush through it. It might be a little bit rushed because you've gotta do this all within a bit of a quick time scale. Normally it's between one and two minutes. What we are doing, we're in the vehicle, all the doors are closed, bonnet's closed. The ignition is going to be turned off. We're going to brake, press the brake pedal once and release it. We're going to cycle the ignition three times, leaving it in the on position. We're going to hit the brake pedal one more time and release it, then cycle the ignition three more times again, leaving it in the on position. Now, if we have done this correctly, you'll hear the vehicle's horn go very briefly and we should get a message saying that it is in relearn mode and then we'll go on to the next step so here we go ignition is off brake pedal once release brake pedal cycle the ignition again there we go hope you heard that we did it correctly first time that's awesome and you heard the uh, horn go and uh, now it, it is coming up, and I'm just going to quickly show you here, let me flip it around, there we go, so I'm going to zoom you in, so now it says train left front tyre, so the vehicle is in the learn mode, the ignition is still on, so with your TPMS4 you want to load up the system, so we are going to full focus 2015. And we are just literally going to read the sensor. Now, if this works, once the vehicle has learnt the new sensor or learnt the information, the horn will go again. That's to indicate that you've done it correctly and the sensor is now registered. And you always have to start with the near side front and go round in a clockwise way. So, here we go. Press it for learn. Okay, so the horn is gone, and there we are, there's all the information. So we are going to now change it to the offside front. Now, there is actually a message saying train right front tyre. So that's literally what we're going to do. Now, every time you hear the horn, it's exactly what's going to happen. So here we go. We're going to hit the test button. The horn goes again, that's good news. We're just going to wait for all the information to come up. Okay, there's the information. So we're going to move around now. Focus, there we are. Right rear tyre. So remember to change it on the TPMS4. Sorry, this is a bit quick, but you do have to do this within a certain time scale, otherwise the system will reset. You have to start again. So there we go, test in progress. We're on the valve. Well, this is a good learning curve though, because 
oh, there we go, we found it. And the car has recognised it. Let's see if we get, get any data from it. Try for a third time just to get the details. There we go, there's all the information. And the last one, oh, it was a little bit hit and miss there. I'm going to move it to the near side rear. Now, this is the last tyre. The horn should go and we should get completion message. So there we go, hit the test button, test in progress. There we go, there's the horn. It really is taking a while, it's test in progress. Oh, okay, there we go, there's all the information. So if we now quickly back, run back to the vehicle. There we go. If I just zoom in on that one, we've got a training complete. So the vehicle has now confirmed that it, we have read all the sensors and it has learned all of them in their corresponding positions. Okay, so we are back in the vehicle. So we have just got the vehicle to go into a learn mode so we can learn all the sensors in each corresponding wheel, starting at the near side front, the passenger front, going clockwise all the way around to the near side rear. So that is all done and we've got the message saying train is complete. So the next step in the instructions is to make sure that the TPMS system uh, is actually reset. So I've already done all the pressures in the tires. Uh, they are all 31 PSI according to the um, vehicle's uh, manufacturer specification. Um, uh, which is in the side of the door. Um, so they are all done, so I'm now going to reset the system. So I'm going to swing you around. And hopefully you can see everything there. Get you a little bit zoomed in. So using the buttons on the instrument, on sorry, on the instrument, because they're using the buttons on the steering wheel, you want to go left into the trip menu, down to settings, press OK. You actually want to go into driver assist, and then go down to tyre monitor, hit OK. Now I'll tell you, hold OK to store the current tyre pressure, so we're going to press and hold. Now why did that say not store? Let's try again. Let's press and hold. There we go, that's better. Tyre pressure is now stored. Excellent. Okay, here we go. So I've already got my diagnostic plugged back in and I am already in the BMI module uh, which is the module that monitors all the pressure sensors and everything like that. So we are going to go into the codes menu, memory codes, uh, key is on, engine off, yes, and then okay there we go so no codes present and that is literally it there is nothing more we can do other than take the vehicle for a test drive um, from my experience I've got to give it about maybe 10 15 at most 20 minutes just to make sure that message doesn't come back so uh, subject to a test drive we are all done okay and there we have it guys that is how to put the Ford Focus into a relearn mode and to test all the TPMS sensors. So if you've enjoyed or learned anything today in this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and drop us a like. On that note, I am Adam Green from Green Auto Services and we'll see you in the next video.